Hi everyone, welcome back. Today uh, I'm here with this Uncle Fester makeup tutorial, um, which I hope is gonna be useful for Halloween coming. It's the first one I did on myself after the one I did on my friend, um, the mermaid one. I hope you like it and you're gonna have fun in watching it. Um, if you do, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye! I already showed you in the previous video how to apply a bold cap but in this video I'm gonna show you the accelerate version so I take a section in the back of my head in a square shape and I hold it with some grips then I divide my hair into section in the front and I twist them in the back of my head and stop them with some grips now I'm gonna put this um, wig cap on my head and I'm removing the grips either making a hole or uh, pushing them uh, under and with the part within the back I'm gonna just hold hold it with some grips now I'm gonna apply the bolt cap on my head and I'm gonna stick it with some prosate make sure it goes clear uh, before you uh, stick the bolt cap on um, and make sure you also um, put some pretty stick on your brows because no prosate has to go on your hair otherwise it will rip them off now I'm gonna make a hole with some scissors where my ear is and I'm gonna put my, my um, ears out the cap um, make sure you don't cut your um, ears as Van Gogh and um, I'm gonna stick also the part near the ear with some prosette glue like I did before for the cap. Now I'm pulling the cap um, in the back part but I'm not gonna stick it because I'm alone and it's really hard to do it alone but I would do it on another person. To blend the edges I'm applying uh, some liquid latex on a small sponge I cut from another one because we're gonna throw the sponge after so don't use a good sponge you wanna keep. And for the latex you have to wait for it to dry uh, you can use also a, a hair dryer. Now we are moving into coloring the cap. I'm using some uh, skin tone um, color from my Cryolan palette and I'm using some foundation. Uh, it, would, it would have been ideal to use some pan stick for coloring the cap but as I don't, I don't have any I'm using foundations. Now always from the Cryolan Supra palette I'm applying some uh, red color just to give the impression of skin color as we always have blood coming through our skin and now we're moving into the face I'm always taking the white color from the Gravulan palette which is just a creamy color you can use any and I'm covering my face with white uh, please if you need a detailed video on how to apply the bold cap don't forget to check my previous video because it was a very long video and detailed video for how to apply a bold cap so keep on building the color on your face and neck because Uncle Fester was quite pale, so that's why I chose to apply a white base. Adesso vado ad applicare now il fondotinta della La Masca Skin Base nel colore più chiaro e lo vado a mischiare con la base bianca che ho fatto in precedenza perché per quanto Zio Fester fosse bianco non era comunque un fantasma quindi vado a fare un mix di questi due colori Una volta finito di applicare il prodotto sul viso andiamo a fissare il tutto con della cipria trasparente io sto usando la Neutral Set della Ben Now we move into coloring and I'm using the Deep Damson eyeshadow Prime MAC which is a ma uh, matte eyeshadow and one of my favorite lately. It's great for shadowing as well. So I'm applying it all over the eyes in a circular shape because um, Uncle Fester looks really tired, almost like a zombie. Um, so it's got these really sunken in eyes and that's what we're gonna do to make the color darker I'm gonna use some uh, matte black eyeshadow on the top of the deep damson and always blend the color with the soft blending brush in circular motion Now I go back with deep damson because the color of Uncle Fester uh, is not really Black is more like a deep purple burgundy color, so that's why I keep layering my colors so we have a more blended and three dimensional effect. We're moving into the other eyes and we're doing the same process. Mm -hmm. 
Now, because Uncle Fester's uh, circles around the eyes are smaller than mine, I'm gonna clean the edges with the uh, Illa Masca uh, Blush Up brush I used before to put color on my face. So I make them more rounded and more clean. Now we start painting some lines. Uh, I'm referring uh, to a picture of Uncle Fester I have on my computer and I'm using a small lip brush and always the tip down some from MAC. Uh, I'm printing some lines around the eyes, I'm accentuating the line under the eyes and uh, blending with a small pointed brush. I did some lines also um, in the center of the forehead. I bring some of the shadow also on the lips, especially in the center. And now moving back to the forehead. Following my picture, Uncle Fester has two lines. Um, they go almost. They almost follow the eyes on the right and on the left. And then we are painting like uh, three lines in the middle of the forehead. Uh, remember not to do these lines very straight because no one has straight lines on the forehead. And if you do that, it's gonna look really, really artificial. So after I apply the color, I'm going to blend it with the blending brush I used before. Don't worry if you see um, a weird shape in the back of the cup, because as I said before, I didn't stick it to my neck because I was alone and it was really hard for me to do it on my back. But on another person, you would stick it and it wouldn't show like that. So I keep uh, painting some lines on the forehead until the third one and blend everything together we can move to the face I'm painting the beauty spot Uncle Fester has on the right side of his face just under his nose and I'm gonna trace some lines around my mouth following the one I naturally have so they start from um, the side of the nose until uh, the chin so I trace them with a fine brush and then I blend them in with a soft brush tracing a semicircle line uh, in the end of my chin so I look fatter as Uncle Fester is a bit more fat than me and on the forehead it's got two lines which go up like that he has got two other lines on uh, the sides of the face which I guess because he's older than me so he's more wrinkly but we're gonna try to recreate the effect um, with just some lines on the face now always with the same color deep damson from mark i'm shading the face just to give some shape so i put some color on the top of my cheeks and under the jawline and this is uncle fester i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you do please give me thumbs up i put some blue tack in the back of my ear because they are uh, bigger than mine and practice some silly face before you go to your Halloween party. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, share it to your walls, and most important, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next Halloween tutorial. Bye bye!